Today we're going to be reacting to a video by the name of I Built an Airport of Suffering Where Nobody is Safe by Let's Game It Out. What do you say? Let's get on with it! Let's go! airport today where it's our job to make and manage all the inner workings of an airport so pack your bags leave your tray tables down on takeoff and landing and let's create some mile high mayhem obviously we're gonna go with sandbox map size the biggest start from scratch god yes and we're ready to go okay so here's our big giant empty lot the game was kind enough to give us some starting zones like garbage drop off garbage people drop off garbage people pick it's up, like as well prison as deliveries and storage the, the prison the game what is this is this a person are you alive? I'm so bad at the game oh, i've tried okay, I figured it out down here this is our staff button of which the game starts us with two lovely construction people meanwhile down below the game is trying to get our attention to let me know that there's a couple of things we need to open among other things we need a functional aircraft gate and a functional runway we also need ticketing security and baggage sounds about claim. right okay let's see where this gets us we're gonna build a beautiful five by five room which doesn't look like much now but before long this truck is gonna show up narrowly hit one of our people <laughs> before dropping off the necessary <laughs> supplies over in deliveries then they take those boxes go right on over to the construction site and make us a building i mean eventually jesus dear fucking God, christ dude forever. are we and paying you on the hour God, you wouldn't be too mad if i hired a couple additional workers right what do you think do you think like 50 of you can get the work done better only one way to find out ah, here comes the bus with our new people <laughs> oh my god there they are oh yes yeah, see that's much better get that work done lickety split oh my god and then when they're done they just go back to their home over here oh it's so weird they're barely moving they're waiting okay, for a taxi to take to them know. home is there a limit to how many people i can hire do you think it'll really let me hire a thousand people oh <laughs> yes, yes it is. And they oh just my keep god, dude. Out of that buzz. It's like the employee bus sprung a leak. And Anyone just else just try now. to break oh games god, when, like when growing up or now even? Kind of moving. Well, it'd be Pretty a fun. To stop at a thousand now. Let's see how the game appreciates like how much 10, shit can so I so good, but collect and until Whoa, my game slows down here? to oh, the point I where shipment? I can't play it? this poor bus sandwiched in the middle. It's been 40 minutes in game now and these buses are still unloading. Oh my god, a third bus showed up. <laughs> They've been unloading for an hour now. Oh, they're finally done. What a relief. The buses can finally leave. Okay, well, there you go. Our construction workers ready oh my to work. God. Okay, I know it's excessive, but now we need to go for broke. And that's not to hire just 100,000 people. Let's go for a million. Hiring those additional 990,000 workers is only going to cost a mere one point. Can you go above million. that? Come on, or no? join the workforce. Oh boy, here comes the first of what I'm sure is going to be many buses. Mark the time, everybody. It's 3.10 p.m. in game. Next bus has arrived. To no one seems to be coming out of this one. Wait a minute. People are still coming out of these buses. We just can't see them. Well, let's just wait this out. Sorry, I want to let you guys know, um, just in case you've noticed, um, I have ticks. So um, it's something I try to kind of control. Um, but you may hear it. Um, I have a clucking tick. And that happens a lot. And my eyes go crazy. So I'm not on drugs or anything. I've just got Tourette's public service announcement. Oh my god, what is going on? I think everyone's starting to merge with everyone else. I don't know what else to call this. I do want to point out more phantom people are still coming. Three hours later, we're at the point now where buses are just backed all the way up to the edge of the map. I can also hover over these people and eventually it'll show me that in that little space there's 2,700 people right there. What? The game <laughs> crashed? <laughs> Okay, let's split the difference, go with a modest 25,000 people. That seems like a more manageable amount, right? Whoa. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's happening? turned into Sim Are you guys 3. Okay? Are you pets. Coming down with a virus? What is this? Hang on, let's put some of these people to work. If you know, you know. Happens. Oh my god, what is this nightmare that's unfolding? This is absolutely yeah. terrifying. This oh, is I'm literally a fever dream. They just kind of contract back into that space. Well, just for fun, let's see how long it takes them to do this. It's weird. It's almost like trying to drive 25,000 people around the map. It's having some issues. I feel like I died and went to art hell. We've got this bizarre experimental style playing Looks like somebody shit out, like shit their second, pants. All overshadowed by the dulcet tones of never-ending jackhammers. 
you know, I don't think this is ever gonna end. But I will say this, still more pleasant than a normal- Oh, it's God, nauseating. The Even the jackhammer sound is just getting sad. Okay, back That's to That's how you break your computer. Hard, but we're gonna stick with just our trusty 10,000. All I really want is for them to maintain their human form. So good job with that so far. Anyway, back to my airport. Here's our lovely tiny little space. As a reminder, we need some ticketing, security, and baggage claim. Ticketing, we're gonna make this one tiny spot right there. Baggage claim is gonna be this tiny spot right here. And the game's already yelling at me. Oh, it's because it's isolated and unreachable. What are you talking Don't about? You're not gonna be create one of these security, massive airports all of this that we're space. seeing now? So, uh, we failed all kinds of stuff. Where you have to walk detector, 50 bank, minutes to get anywhere? ID check stand. Oh boy, this is gonna be a tight fit, isn't it? Okay, let's make it slightly bigger. Hey, construction crews, can I have your... Oh, okay, thanks. Where Save I live, so we fast, just... The shadow of the building is still there. Okay, so let's make it a little bit bigger. We just opened 14, our airport. And we'll put Again, they've right been here. doing it. Baggage claim is gonna be one tiny square in the corner. Garbage Law goes construction away. And now, garbage everybody hates right it. Right here. Let's make sure to put it's a nice garbage. big door on the front. You know it what? It takes 25 minutes inside. to get anywhere. Let's make deliveries this little square. You have to arrive here. much earlier oh, God, than necessary. Oh, than should be so necessary. This is disgusting, like you know, this dude. This is scarier than any horror game. Okay, and we'll put security right here. So ID check stand we're gonna put right here up against the workers. The metal detector. Can we take this thing and like face it into the... Oh, yeah. So you have to walk into these people to use it. And our bag scanner. Which we'll no, right thank there. you. The organization doesn't even make sense. I like like it. Now back over here to ticketing. Let's go ahead and put down a ticketing desk. Even though we've got the space for more than one. What's the hurry? You all like waiting in line, don't you? And we've also got a staff up. Thankfully the game tells me exactly what I need. Three security guards, one single staff member. I just love the disparity here. One staff member, $20 an hour. Three security guards, $120 an hour. 10,000 workmen, $250,000 an hour. But at least everyone comes to work happy and faceless. So once people are done at security, where they have to walk into construction workers while their bags go into a wall. We'll go ahead and put a door <laughs> right here. It's gonna take you to our beautiful gate. How do I you know what? I can't even get mad. Oh, this is like is. an airport, we'll start with man. A small one, which we'll go ahead and put right... Yeah, right there looks good. Let's see, what do we need to build this out? Requires a gate agent desk. Okay, we'll take that and we're gonna put it right over here. Facing against the wall. There we go. That's our faceless not where that employee is now working diligently with her back to the but door. Okay. And lastly, we need to add the runway. I like I've traveled the runway a lot. Longer. Too it much. all the planes that can partake now. Finally, the B-73W in my airport. Okay, looks good. Let's see what else it needs. Requires oh, is this the runway? Taxiway connected on both ends. Can I just take the taxiway and just put, like, one little square on each end? Will it consider that a done deal? As a matter of fact, yes, that was enough for it. In the eyes of the game, this is a fully functional runway. Okay, we're getting closer. I can feel it. Well, what is this then. Need now? Two adjacent taxiways and a taxiway path to at least one runway. We'll just have this runway kind of kind of take the scenic route before heading on over to the runway. The these workers, by the way, have got to be just the fittest people of all time. Just look at all the running they do. They okay, get shit done, no right? Alert arrows. Our very complete looking airport is ready for prime They may be part of a... Some flights. Over uh, here, we need to make deals with a all mass. these airlines. To take they may be connected at the brain, but they get below. stuff done. Strangely, I'm only seeing morning and afternoon flights. Apparently, to get the rest, we need to upgrade our runway to have safety lights or whatever. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. Give me those lights. Your <laughs> runway's just not going to have safety lights? That's un... Usable. Well, all right. Looks like Good, got sir. It under control. Okay, much better. Look at all those flights we can schedule. And we're gonna schedule as many of these as we can. I like how there's all this stuff up here, like how happy the airline is with us. And as you can see, they have absolutely no trust in us. Don't worry, airlines. Then don't go! You're about to accept don't go. this airline. <laughs> I sure am. Jeez, that one plane needs two hours. Just your, trust your gut here. Bit? Okay, I guess 90 minutes is the best we get. So long as we're packing in these flights. Oh my god, look at this one. Look how many they have. I'll take them all. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all those amazing flights I still need to schedule. There's so many, they just burst off the page. Okay, here we go. Our modest little gate has a completely full schedule. Well, look, here come our first people right now. Now, everybody, wait your turn. Oh, no. Line, or <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Wait for this invincible woman, then it's your turn. Okay, here she goes over to check her We've ID. got a Karen here. We've got a Karen up here. The group of people. She's got to oh, be first. streamlined process this is. <laughs> and then she gets over here and is like, uh, Walks through this. I Long or something. And of course, barren the room. Is no. Be like that, I guys. think I was gonna get like abducted and tortured or something. I mean, honestly, does this feel that different than a normal airport experience? Also, good. You need God. chairs 
at least, and food at to be in the terminal, right? I mean, it is my airport, so I guess that's actually this is just awkward. This well, is like a dinner party, and you have no idea who anyone else, who anyone is. You don't know who to talk to. That's right. Take your except there's no alcohol. The later the better. Come on, big guy. Here you go. And there it is. That's a sick plane, though. That's a big one. One fleeing the aircraft. Okay, buddy. I know you're excited to do baggage claim. But Surprised they didn't the start off the smaller airplanes what? since, it's, since it's such a small airport. Now? Oh, another pooping baggage. I get it. All in that one tiny. Also, if I miss things, that's and because I'm just dumb. And uh, everybody, or this guy's I talk gonna a lot. Run you over. Why are that's you why I started this, this channel. Why are you insisting on running I talk a lot when I watch shit. I'm the worst person to go see a movie with. I'm telling you. And with everyone on board, the plane heads off to. I just like to. What? You know, Whoa, give my input. That is one buoyant aircraft. He's like, in I the need moment. to get out of here and never come back. Uh, I don't feel like they're going fast enough. What is happening here? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 what? <laughs> what? what was that? Oh! Wow, they teach you that in flight school? You know, I don't even know how to You have to about. drive all the way down like the runway and then turn, on time take off? And left on time. So we're going to dismantle this taxiway. Build turn it around. Pizzazz. I mean, I assume the game will let me do there this, right? Go. Oh, and look, we got a plane already going through it. Can you imagine... Being on this this is what it fucking feels like when you're taxiing, though. It's like, how long do I have over again wandering the through the desert? You know, it turns out it doesn't matter when will I find People civilization again? You would also think that some of these pilots, especially with their advanced piloting techniques, would be going down this and be like, eh, this is essentially the runway. I'll just take off from this. But no, instead they spend a half hour I'm sure pilots have thought that before. Purgatory. Especially so when they're in the line. The they're like, can I just fucking take that one? Arrives. D plane, unload baggage. There's load nobody baggage, in line for that one. Flight crew on, Although it's facing the wrong people, direction. I discovered so. a fun new option. Forced departure. So let's see what happens when we do this. Okay, so the plane taxis into the I would be fine normal. with a forced departure. Like, no, and that's apparently As soon as the word does, force comes into it, like, uh, I'm out of there. <laughs> and over here they're like, uh, this is your captain speaking. So long, suckers. Oh yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Zero percent boarded. Well, now I'm just gonna do this for every plane. Look at that I tiny little plane. To just take off That's a cute one. Point in the arrival process, and then once it finally arrives, it's like everybody off. Okay, bye. And then it heads off to the runway for a smooth, standard takeoff. This is how I. Wait a minute! It didn't it get its inside. people? Okay, so as funny yeah, for as this real, whole dude. process it's is, drifting. Watch people never ever can you imagine a plane drifting? I can't help but wonder if there's a way we can get more people to miss their flights more often. While this whole process is going on, other planes actually can't land on the runway. One plane takes off, and the moment it's clear, another plane lands. So how do we get two planes up in this? What if we add some additional little taxiways, like right here and right there? Just a couple little dodging points. Yes, that's the spirit. Be fearless. No way can that that's illegal. liquefy you in seconds. Oh my god, it's happening. It's legal. Another My husband used to work same time. Um, How are they gonna navigate filling uh, oh, planes just wait politely. What beautiful plane ballet with fuel. That was. But still because we have one <laughs> and there's a line so flights, I think that you can't cross because that's where the so taxiing happens. And he go. actually a crossed it. Don't tell anyone. Hallway that takes you to he broke the federal gate. law kind of there. One of these desks. <laughs> or do I? I like, like a little bit over. Up like, hey, it's not he still thinks he's a badass, you though. It, I build it. That's the spirit. Smash between your desk and a wall a forever. Well, no sense in giving you all this space. Now that I know we can have these desks in the most uncomfortable places. Okay, great. Now we've got two gates with full schedules. So this is getting slightly more busy, but not by much. I think what we need are more gates, and not just this is hell on either. earth. Let's jump straight to the XL. For people gate. that travel so constantly, here, show here, them this airport. Here. Dude. And there. Finally, my crews have something to do. Now, these ones are a little bit different. They require a door to a terminal on the second floor. Second floor, huh? Hope you people like stairs. Okay, there you go. What does our second floor look like anyway? <laughs> oh, perfect. That's what I like to see. Can I extend this without building on the first floor? Damn it. Requires foundation on the floor below. So be it. I'm happy to put my claustrophobic little corridors on the floor below. And now we'll just build them up here. Okay, great. And I want to believe because this is all in one big hallway that we can just mash all five desks in a row here. Scheduling wise, I tried to take all available Who's gonna flights fit? and kind of clump them together. Let's see how it goes. Well, that's strangely pretty, isn't it? Probably a little stressful for the pilots, but that sounds like a them problem and... 
Oh no. It's happening again. Oh god. Okay, let's see. I think we can logically work this out. This is out. how I if feel. down here, we can see in our when pickup area, there any there sort to be some of people delay for pickup. Not just people, by the when way. I'm it's very just... frustrated people that really need to use the bathroom. But it looks like when a bus arrives, 75 people at a time can get on board. I'm thinking all the people that are walking over to get picked up is far exceeding that number. And so this weird kaleidoscope of people is just growing all the time. It's almost like there are some kinks in my Disgusting. chain of operation. <laughs> so I surmise if we lower the population, then the horror show should that be contained. That is a broken game. It turns out we have a button down here for research, which has a bunch of things we can unlock. I bet there's something in here that can help us out. Oh, and I found it. Upgraded buses. Buses become double deckers for double the capacity. Well, shiver me timbers, let's do it. But we can't build it yet because apparently first we need to hire a COO and give them an office. Okay, the first step to making an office, we gotta find a place to put it. I'm thinking right here. Okay. Oh god, what now? Requires enclosed space, office chair, office desk. Damn it. We can't put walls out here. It's too close to the taxiway. Okay, let's see if we can find somewhere else. Oh, I have an idea. How about right here in this isolated little hallway? We'll just slap a door right here, put down a nice office chair, have it face the wall, and surely we can get this desk to fit. Yep, there we go. And there I mean, is the perfect office. Not this too... By is like, Hell this of an isn't office, sir. Almost better not than my realistic. Car legs. We don't uh, like to take of, care of employees in this world. Is this how they so... get these things up and down the stairs? In they this just, country, like, I should say. It right up the stairs. Is that oh what's my god, did you it. see you him? Get to that gate somehow, right? Okay, That's where was badass. I? Oh, right, hiring a COO. I'm glad they all that office would be so depressing. New administrators traveling to work. They're probably so excited to have a new office to work in. You know, I've been quietly waiting for the COO to show up so I could give them like a proper greeting, but I haven't seen him, and this view isn't helping me at all. All I've got is has office. Yes. Good enough for me. Let's upgrade some buses. And while we wait for the research to complete, I hate to say it, my lovely construction crew, but we're gonna have to let some of you go. Just for now, we're gonna cut back down to 5,000. I like how in any other real That's situation, like, laying God off 5,000 people would be, like, <laughs> catastrophic. But over here, my fired employees have managed to turn it into a God bless. Dance. There we go. 150 capacity. I just have to pray that over time these buses can I can, can find a, a job with less on, I employees. One more thing I think we can really use. Land expansion allows the purchase of additional map parcels. Judging by how our airport currently is using the entire play space, I think how that's it a doing? great idea. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Oh wow, it opens up this whole thing. Yes, please. Oh, it's so All powerful. Alright, I want to buy this game, dude. Game. <gasps> and look, I don't have fucking money for this, but the waking nightmare is over this looks like fucking now. fun, dude. I also noticed the COO is finally in her office, and of course she's totally despondent. I get it, though. I'd be shocked, too, if my office were this nice. Okay, so before we go Most to land, CERs do. I want to make CERs. sure that our CEOs do seem a away. bit. I think this extra land is going to be mostly um, useful for more gates. But despondent. for that to be handy, we need to finish the filling word the schedule. Said? And to fill the schedule, we need more flight contracts. And to get more flight contracts, we need all of these airlines to like us a little bit more than they do. Like Spark Jet, 36% rating. Why don't you love us? Well, a lot of this is looking pretty abysmal. 36% trust. Your Communication, 35%. So I think we can make a lot of this better by giving them a rep. To do so, we have to buy sales reps. I mean, hire them. <laughs> ah, and here they all Why do you need so many sales reps? Area, as all high-powered business people do. Well, let's get like, you all assigned. Maybe one that'll fill up line, a fucking table. One, two, nine, like an five, office three, table, oh, a meeting office table. Name. That's it. Just Jesus. Like that, our ratings have improved. Oh, yeah. Look at all these flights. You don't need so many people now. to get shit done, in my these. opinion. Some of these ratings are still pretty low, though. So I think I'm going to try and work on that passenger satisfaction. I'm pretty sure we've got room to grow there. What with all these people waiting and my one tile wide baggage claim. Thanks for dropping off those bags, car centaur. So according to the game, <laughs> they look at like they're using it as if it's the Flintstones. As you can see, like their legs are running underneath on it. the better end, they're only 100% frustrated. Now on the higher end, we can see things getting <sighs> That's normal. Worse. Okay, no, actually, being know in what? an airport, Before okay? This better, I want to see if we can make it worse. Is it possible to get all these meters to 100% bad? Well, we're never going to find out people bad. keep leaving. So just yeah, it's pretty sketchy looking. In front of the entrance, and all of you that weren't smart enough to flee at the last minute, you're the test bed. You know, I couldn't help but notice that everyone's just congregating to security now. Like, literally every passenger stuck in the airport. But unlike these pillars of calmness, these people won't stop moving. Wait a minute, are you telling me they'll just go wherever the security boundaries are? Well, gotta test this. So if we put a second security box over here, it doesn't look like anyone moves. But if I erase this first one, oh my god, I can tell them what to do? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, we have to test this further. People well, do not like to be that right close here. to each Does other, that dude. Mean that if I go all the way over here, can I make him go to, like, the middle of the airport? Hey, everybody, let's move. Huh. Well, some people are going up.
up to the door, but it looks like most of them are just creepily spreading out. This looks so weird. It's like a coat closet trying to find its way up the stairs. Also, I like how they kind of bounce when they get up to the top of the stairs. They do like a jaunty little jump and then they skip away. <laughs> okay, anyway, we let's made see it. if we can figure out how to get them to go outside. Here, what if I just carve a hole for you? No. What's it gonna take, huh? Maybe this is too far away. Maybe they need it a little closer to home. Let's try this. Really? Still nothing? What if I build like a little room out here? Oh, yep. There we go. <laughs> Most people are coming. Okay, now let's close room. everybody in. This lady's like, oh, no. I wanted to be trapped with thousands of people. No, that now would be me, dude. The security zone. I believe now it. Let's get rid of this whole thing. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Be free, my friends. Oh, God, where exactly are they going? Wait a minute. What do you people know that I don't know? Oh, you little cheaters. You found a way back inside. Okay, let's gather you all up again. Everybody back to where it started. This time around, we're going to be smarter and get rid of these doors. Okay, that's better. To my knowledge, there's no way back in here. The front door is locked. All the rest of these gates are on the second floor where they can't reach them. And they can't get out to the street because there's a fence going the entire length of the airport. Okay, let's try this again. I have a new idea that I think is going to work out. We're going to try this thing again, but this time we're going to turn it into a room. Unfortunately, at the moment, we can't put any buildings down here because they're too close to the taxiway. So temporarily, we're just going to dig this up. Okay, better. And now we can put a room around this. Moment of truth. Let's see if this works. Sink or swim, have fun. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's working. I like how most people oh my are god, it's about a staying off the runway, but not everyone. Look, I don't want to tell you how to live, but that's probably not the best place to we contemplate We don't like life. what we don't yeah, understand. Like In fact, most it scares us. Are filtering into this tiny little room. And now that I managed to sucker these people into being in the middle of an get airport, the reference. let's go ahead and literally get rid of their security blanket. Oh, yes, there they go. Expand my pretties. Oh, good. The game just lets me put the taxiway back. It doesn't care that there's people All of these the people this are breaking federal amazing. law these right now. These people don't have a care in the world. Well, now that they're out there and wandering around, can I just reopen the airport like it's business as usual? I think the answer is yes. Oh my god, and planes are landing again. Oh god, how is this gonna go? <laughs> Oh god, everything about this is fantastic. This airplane's like Oh my god. Right side of the aircraft. A bunch of fresh corpses I'm about to roll over. Oh, and I bet these bigger jets just can't even see them. Either way, this is definitely more my kind of airport. How many people do you think we can get out here? Turns out a lot. Like a whole hell of a lot. It's hard to calculate Look how for slow sure, they're but I think there's about 10,000 people <laughs> His computer on this is right now. In between dying the people in the trying to keep his no game afloat. Cares about anything anymore. As you can see, we also streamlined the runway a little bit. This is worse than sure Sims, man. Their affairs, so all these planes could fulfill their bloodlust. And it really feels like we're maintaining that circle of life. As mentioned, we were trying to make a more people-friendly airport. So let's give you the grand tour of our new terminal. Starting outside, everything's pretty much the same. People get off buses to head into the airport while well, all these Slowly. business people just stand around. And over here in the terminal, we've kind of revamped a few things. It's like things. Big Baggage Brother. Is now I'm not into it. Of the room. I like to call this bag roulette because there's no way you're going to find your bag, so just take anything you want. We also expanded, and now there's more than one ticket counter. With such a huge influx of people, I wanted to make sure that everyone could be squared away. Speaking of people and being squared away, these are windows back here, which behind them holds a little surprise. A whole bunch of people trapped and on display. Seeing as how you can see them from the drop-off area... You would think this would serve as a warning sign, but hey, when you're late for your flight, nothing's gonna stop you. Something perplexing to me is if you highlight any of these people, we've succeeded in making them very unhappy, except they're really not frustrated and they're not thirsty. That raises all kinds of questions that I'm just gonna perfect. leave to your imagination. I also perfect. went ahead and created some restrooms this time. It's really successful the airport. Restroom. One toilet, no barriers, Absolutely and hundreds successful. of people actively watching you. Now I realize these things look like soap dispensers or something, but they're actually PA speakers. The only ones in my entire airport so that way when people are in there doing their business I can just pop on and be like hey what you doing why did your pants change color what everybody saw it dude wait is this just something that happens Took his pants off. are like completely white. It almost feels like when they're done peeing, they just take off their pants to reveal their beautifully tanned legs. I also redid security to handle Corpse more legs, people. dude. It's every bit as messy as it was before. Oh, Nobody's yeah, sure that color underneath unless they've been dead for a little bit. literally shoving into them while they try and work. And once you're through this nightmare, there's only one thing left between you and the gate. Moving walkways. A lot of moving walkways. Pretty much you need to start by going all Not the way Not that I have any experience with corpses. I just watch a lot of crime. Show. 
ever. <laughs> Each one of these things takes I promise I'm not a serial killer. There are six total that you need to Scouts on her. Because they're literally equal in length to the runway. And once you're done riding for two whole hours, it's time to head upstairs. Yeah, this is like our airport no now, where I live. It's unbelievable. Really, really long it's time so ago. angering. It's okay, though. The journey back is Who that wants bad. to do Just that, dude? Just to go up to the third floor. Just follow where everyone else is going and you'll be fine. After all, you're Oh, this would enrage me so much. Of course, I mean a maze. I love that even the employees have to go through it, too. And once you're done with this nonsense, which takes about two and a half hours to get through, then you just need to wait in line for about 20 minutes, and then you're finally free to leave the airport, presumably an empty husk of the person you used to be. Wait, no, I take it back. I think you're irreversibly changed forever. I hope you're ready to enjoy life now as an isosceles triangle. <laughs> isosceles triangle? It's true! Well, I think that's about as much damage as we're gonna do. I hope you had fun. I, I mean, there's an acute. There's a couple of cute triangles. Asunder, and I'll see you next acute. Time. Absolutely fabulous. Really loved that video. Um, so, if you want to see me react to anything else, go ahead and uh, just comment somewhere. I'll see it, and I'll get to it as soon as possible. Um, I love reacting to basically anything. Um, I love history. I love, um, let's see, funny things. I love Karens, of course, who doesn't, you know, like, I like try not to laugh challenges. You know, I like, f I like a lot of funny things. I like scary things too. Um, like, you can try to scare me all you want. May not work, but it may. Um, love animals. I don't like sad animal videos though. I will say, please do not ask me to react to any sad animal videos. Also, I draw the line at videos about children, specifically about like an abuse or abuse of a child. I, I kind of draw the line in there. It's just, I can't handle it. It's, it stays with me and I can't sleep and I just, it's not worth it, you know? Um, but besides those things, I'll relax. I'll, I'll react to anything. I really will. Um, the reason why I made this channel in the first place is because I talk to myself while I'm watching YouTube or videos or movies anyways, even when I'm alone in the room. And I thought, that's perfect, man. I talk all the time. I might as well react to videos vocally. You know, there's... Um, there's quite a community here of uh, reaction videos, and I'm really excited about that. I love reaction videos. I love watching people react. So if you yourself um, are starting a reaction video and you'd like somebody to watch it, go ahead and comment it down below. Like, I'm all for that. Um, you don't have to follow me. I'm not all about follow for follow. It's just more of a colleague checking out another colleague's work. I'm not into follow for follow, but if you do choose to follow me and I do like your work, um, and I feel like I could watch your work, um, even not as a reaction, I would absolutely love to, you know? Most of this is I just want to join this community. I need a community. And YouTube has been a solace for me for a long time. Thank you to whoever watched this. And, of course, I'll see you later.